starting with numbers is because already the conversation goes to the fact that you are showing me that you know how much money you are making from the beginning from the beginning are we together are we together so as opposed to saying which is the typical way of pitching hi my name is so and so i do this right i'm saying start with what we call a hook a hook is like that thing with a fish right, right? hook me in first and then introduce yourself and if you've hooked me then you introduce yourself then you can tell me about everything else right so what is number one hook introduction if you don't want to start with a hook then start with your introduction introduction and then hook hi my name is so and so i'm from such and such a company and then you tell me the story okay so i'm giving you two alternatives number two a lot of us like when we're introducing ourselves we like saying Hi, my name is Pakiso and I am from Rotani Security. Or oh, please stay away from the word, I'm the CEO, I'm the director. We are all CEOs and directors. Here. Okay? You don't have a lot of time when you're pitching. Get straight to the point. I am Pakiso Sotensi, I'm from this company. What that does for you is that it says to me, even if you're a one man show, you acknowledge and you recognize that you belong to a company. Right? You are not the company. You are a resource of the company. Don't be the CEO and the director and the founder of something. Okay? My name is so-and-so. I belong to this company. Are we together? That's number one. Who you are. Number two. What do you do? What do you do? Hi, my name is Pakiso, blah, blah, blah. I am in agriculture, from this company, I am in agriculture. We plant da 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 to, to, to get uh, cabbages, and those are the cabbages that we do, blah, 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 blah. Who you are? What do you do? Are we together? In your respective business. Who you are? What do you do? The third one is how do you do it? Is the how. So the how... There's a word called a USP, right? How do you do it? Do you do it differently? Do you do it the same way? Now, you must remember that having a USP does not mean you must always be different. We had an argument yesterday about this. It doesn't mean you must always have a, uh, something different. USP means perhaps the area in which you're operating in. The service that you're providing or the product that you're providing does not exist in that area. As a result, there's a need for that market in the area that you're operating in. Are we together? Who you are with a hook? What do you do? How do you do it? Okay? Are we together? Are we together? Number four. What do you do? Funan. How do I say Funan in vendor? Yeah? You, you have money. That one. <laughs> what do you want? What do you need? What do you need? Now, here's the funny part. Because today, you're going to be pitching for money. The probability of you saying, I need 500,000, I need 20,000, I need this, I need this, I need that. I'm going to advise you that don't just ask for money. Ask for resources, ask for services. Because sometimes when you ask for services and you ask for resources, it says that you appreciate the position that you are in right now. There are people in agriculture who will say, I, I've got land, I need a tractor and I need seeds to put in the ground so that I can do production. And then the question is, okay, but which market do you have? I like that gentleman because he says, I've got an offtake from pick and pay. I'm like, okay, let's talk about the offtake first before we can qualify the 500,000 that he might need majority of you guys don't probably have offtake what I mean by offtake is, is who's going to buy the products or the services that you are offering who's going to buy them even if you're in idea phase you want to develop an idea because you've already had an indication of who's going to buy what you are say, selling as a service 
It's important that you must show us that. The lady that manufactures bottles, I want to hear who your clients are. I want to hear how many volumes they are taking from you. And the machinery that you are going to ask for, from them to buy for you, I want to know how much that is going to increase your money. You know why it's important for you to understand how it's going to increase your money? It's because you have to pay that money back. Let's not be confused about that one. That money you're going to have to pay back. But it's a different case when you are saying to somebody, actually, I need services because I've got a branding company and I'm stuck. And that, that, that security company needs to be able to be well branded and well marketed. Can you give me a voucher to market and brand my company? Maybe they could give you that, which is still a benefit to your business. So don't limit yourself just on money. Because my concern is that if it's just going to be money, you must be responsible. You must understand that you need to ex explain how you're going to use that money and how you're going to pay that money back. Confused about that one. Are we together? Let's not be confused about that one. Because the big thing is this. Would you give me money to go and, to go and uh, plant cabbages on five hectares of land without an agreement? Would you? So how do you expect the government to give it to you? This is how we need to think. If you're going to ask for money, we must understand that you're responsible. Number two, we must also, you must also be able to show us that if you're going to ask for the money, you've got a team together. There are some people here who don't even have business bank accounts. You have your personal account where the clients that you say you service are putting in the money. And then you eat the money. <laughs> it's the truth. It's not even a business bank account. Why is it important for you to have a business bank account and a personal account? You are an employee of the business. And if you're an employee of the business, the money gets paid into your business account, you pay yourself the salary. If your salary is 10,000 rand and you get 1 million, you then don't earn 50,000 rand. You continue earning 10,000 rand because that's not your money. It's the business's money. And then you must pay taxes in that business so that you can be able to employ more people to help you deliver on what you said you can deliver on. If it's coming into your personal account, the problem is you're not even going to build enough credit with the bank for them to see that your business is going to grow. So if part of the requirement for funding here is bank statements, and you're going to bring your personal bank statement, and then we see that you went and bought your boyfriend sneakers at Supersport on your bank statements. Why? Because it's your personal account and it's not a business account. Those dynamics are very important if you are going to ask for money. Because the ask is equally as big in terms of the responsibility. Are we together? What is your ask? Is number four. Am I right? Number five. Contact details. How do we get a hold of you? What is important is that don't give me a contact detail and then your, your friend or your best friend answers on a cell phone line. Give me your contact details where I'm going to reach you. Give me an email address that works. Give me a Facebook page that works. So I don't want to see you and your boyfriend in a park sitting somewhere when I go on your Facebook page. I want to see the stuff that you said you are doing. And please, ladies and gentlemen, have two Facebook pages. Have your personal Facebook page. Have a business biz uh, Facebook page. And then try and leverage the two. Because we're interested in your business, right? Contact details. And choose what you want to give me. Give me the, the contact details where that will best represent you. If it's your website, give me that website. Because it's going to best represent you. Are we together? Can you repeat those things for me? Top five. Let's go quickly together. Number one. Who you are with the hook. Number two. Number three, how do you do it? Number four, what do you need? What is your ask? Number five. Okay.
Okay, what's missing there? What's missing? What do you think is missing there? Huh? Who's going to buy the market? Oh, your market is the offtake. Right? But who's going to buy your right? Who are the people that are going to consume? But you will talk about those things because you only have a very short space of time, right? But you must keep that thing in the back of your mind, right? But what's missing? Yes, sir. Sustainability. 100%. You've got to be able to show the sustainability. And in all those five things, it will give me a good sense of what sustainability look, it looks like. But most importantly for me, in your ask, what, what is important is you must be able to show us the money. Right? So let's, let's make number six the money. Financials. How are you going to make money? If you didn't start with how much money you are making, you must show me at the end how much money you are making. That's your number six. Financials. I want to hear, I sell one cabbage for five rand or for ten rand. I can be able to move 10,000 cabbages in a month, which gives me a turnover of this much. And over that turnover, my operating cost is this much. And my profit of that cost is this much. Every single month. Do you understand? Are we together? If you don't tell me that in the format that I've just told you now, then just tell me what your turnover is. Or tell the people that you're going to pitch to how much your turnover is. Every single month. Tell me, I turn over 10,000 rand. Out of that turnover, my operational expenses are 6,000 rand. My profit is 4,000 rand. And then I'll sit and go, oh, okay. She makes about 50 odd thousand a year. Are we together? Do you understand, guys? The reason why I'm saying start with the money is because you, you get it out of the way. But if you don't want to start with the money, end with the money. At the end. I need you to show me that you are sustainable as a business. Like I said, money is the lifeblood of your business. You can never pitch without telling me how much you are making. I need to know, how much are you making? And that is the most fundamental and critical. I would have heard everything else. But I want to hear about the money. I'm looking forward to you telling me about the money. Are we together? Are you sure? I can't stress it enough. And the last part that I value a lot, which is your number seven, is bring your personality, man. Bring your personality to the game. Okay, stop being polite. You are looking for money here. Bring your personality to the game. You know why I say that is important? Because people do business with people they like. Or am I lying? Will you buy from someone you don't like? People do business with people they like. Okay? Don't come here and be shy. Like I said, if you are shy, you might as well leave now. I can tell you for free. You might as well leave now. If you're going to come stand here and, oh, 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 I'm respectful. No. No. I don't care. Know. We're talking about our money here. Oh, you're talking about the country's money. Bring your personality. It is so important. You know why? Because people want to get a good sense whether they can tolerate you. Have you? I hear people talking about investors, right? Hey, I need investors, I need investors. The first thing the investor wants to do, at least from the places that I've been to, where I've had to pitch to other people, the ones that are very smart, they will want to talk about you first, before the business. You say, so are you married? Say, yeah, okay. Do you have children? Yeah, okay. Where do your kids go to school? Mm, what car do you drive? What house do you live? How long have you been driving that car? Okay. So life's good. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. How's business? And you say, oh, no, business is good. But you're going to ask for money. <laughs> right? 
Tell the truth. Business is okay, but I need one, two, and three, and four. And this is why I'm here. And the smart guys will always ask you prompting questions. How are you about your personality? Because they want to know that if I put money into this person, can I live with them for the next 10, 15, 20 years of their business? If it grows. Or am I just getting into business with a crazy person that's going to drive me mad? Your personality is everything. Absolutely everything. And in most cases, you'll find that the most original, authentic people that are true to themselves are the ones that always get funded. The ones that go in and speak in their language, the ones that go in and say, listen, I don't understand this and this and this, but I know that my business works. I've been doing it for so long. This is how much money it's given me. It's very simple. I don't fully understand the principles of business, but this is why I'm talking to you now. Help me. Clean. I'll give you a business case. Right? And this is the other thing is, there's a, there's a young man who sells cow heads. You know, scorp, we call it scorp. So when we're nice and papa last over the weekend, you're going to eat scorp and pump, right? And, and that guy, when he first came to pitch at us, he introduced us, I said, you see the guys that are pushing trolleys in Joburg, my my, he said, in my my, I've got people already who can take 200 to 1,000 heads in a day. And out of those people, I've already spoken to him, they are my current suppliers. Where do I buy them? I buy them at current beef. And I've got two other suppliers, which is an abattoir, where I just go and buy heads, right? I can move those numbers in a week. I can move anything between five to th three to 5,000 heads in a week, right? Here are the guys that are, that, that are, that are buying from me. Number two, current beef gives me a head for 120 rand. I sell this head to these guys for 180 rand. I make a 60 rand margin. And he says, what I don't know is that I don't have enough capital, cash flow, to be able to buy more heads from these guys. There's a retail end, there's an abattoir end, and I want to be the supplier in the middle. Because people don't, are lazy to go and get it direct. So I'm going to give it to them clean business. He says, I don't have an office, I wear overalls, and I'm in the dirtiest parts of the streets. All I, had, I need from you is capital. How much do you need? I need so much. How much do you make? 60, 60 rand times 3,000, 200,000 rand at a go. A week. And then I can multiply. A week times four. Yo. <laughs> times 12. Yo. This is money. How much do you need now? I need so much. Okay, here's an agreement. Simple to the point. And you know why I can relate to it? I liked him and I know what he's talking about. Okay. <laughs> My name is Liwa Maginya and I'm the founder and CEO of Panda Studios. Panda Studios was established in 2015 as a photography company. We have now expanded and we do video production and graphic design as well. We mainly focus on video production where we shoot weddings, corporate events, birthday parties, documentaries, commercials and many more. If you want to know more about Panda Studios, please visit our website www.pandastudios.com Hi, my name is Liwa Maginya and I'm the founder and CEO of Panda Studios. 
Panda Studios was established in 2015 as a photography company. We have now expanded and we do video production and graphic design as well. We mainly focus on video production where we shoot weddings, corporate events, birthday parties, documentaries, commercials and many more. If you want to know more about Panda Studios, please visit our website www.pandastudios.com Hi, my name is Liwa Maginya and I'm the founder and CEO of Panda Studios. Panda Studios was established in 2015 as a photography company. We have now expanded and we do video production and graphic design as well. We mainly focus on video production where we shoot weddings, corporate events, birthday parties, documentaries, commercials and many more. If you want to know more about Panda Studios, please visit our website www.pandastudios.com Hi, my name is Liwa Maginya and I'm the founder and CEO of Panda Studios. Panda Studios was established in 2015 as a photography company. We have now expanded and we do video production and graphic design as well. We mainly focus on video production where we shoot weddings, corporate events, birthday parties, documentaries, commercials and many more. If you want to know more about Panda Studios, please visit our website www.pandastudios.com Hi, my name is Liwa Maginya and I'm the founder and CEO of Panda Studios. Panda Studios was established in 2015 as a photography company. We have now expanded and we do video production and graphic design. My name is Liwa Maginya and I'm the founder and CEO of Panda Studios. Panda Studios was established in 2015 as a photography company. We have now expanded and we do video production and graphic design as well. We mainly focus on video production where we shoot weddings, corporate events, birthday parties, documentaries, commercials and many more. If you want to know more about Panda Studios, please visit our website www.pandastudios.com Some of the reasons why we have such a high unemployment rate and some of the reasons why we've got youths particularly, it's not only because there's no, not enough jobs. It's because we're not, we're not thinking hard enough. Because the problems are everywhere. Everywhere amongst us, right? But we're not finding them. I'll give you an example. Go to any other African country. Kenya, Zimbabwe, Mozambique, anywhere else. And you will realize that we are more privileged than any of those countries. You know why? Because we have institutions like these ones that say, come and get money. In those countries, there's nothing. There's nothing. And they are more entrepreneurial than we are. So what's the problem in, us, in, 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 in trying to resolve such matters? We need to start thinking. It starts at home. That's what they say. Charity starts at home. To fix ourselves first, Let's then try and fix the problems in our communities and, that the, and everything else will be able to grow from there. And, if, and I'm making that example because it's a practical example. I just walked outside and that's all I did. And I saw that, no, everyone is waiting for someone to come and pick up after them. We are privileged. And that's a privileged mentality. And we can't afford to do that. Not in this country. We can't. Irrespective of where we come from. So, me... What I'm interested today about is solutions. What problem are you solving? 
And how can we help you? While we are still fortunate to help you with finance, with investments, because we believe that you guys are, are the ones who are going to do the employment. Yes, sir. Impact. 100%. We're looking for that. Very much important. There's a car that is parked outside HC79ST GP. It's a Datsun Go. Can't we lift it? <laughs> Just joking. Datsun Go, please, can, we, can you move uh, so that we operate more efficiently? Any other questions? It's important. Let's ask questions. Yes. Your mic is I think your time is very it's too small for all of the things that you need. <laughs> Imagine it's seven <laughs> and in thirty seconds. I don't see that happen. He says my time is too small. It's another reason for an excuse. So let me tell you, sir, let me tell you. The guys that are pitching outside have done it in thirty seconds. I'm not telling you a theory, I'm telling you what we are doing. All of them. What are they doing on financials? Hundred and forty of them. What are they doing on financials? Let's have what financials is. Financials is a financial statement. I didn't say financial statement. I said give me an indication of financials. <laughs> like how? Can someone explain to the gents so that at least they can see that we are all listening? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Who said hello? Like liquidated, you you can feel that you cannot continue. Right. So will that help in a pitch if, if if they see that your business is stuck, and you you really need help to to get up again? Yeah. So that's a tricky one, depending on who you are talking to. If you tell them how, if you tell them that, um, I used to run a business and now it's liquidated, right? The big questions are going to be, okay, so why did it get liquidated? What went wrong? Now you must explain what went wrong. And subject or based to that answer will determine whether they will trust you as a responsible businessman or not. Right? But you're talking also about a government institution here, which, which you should be able to say, look, guys, for me, less is more. Uh, I used to do this, and I shut down, and I want to do it differently. Here's the experience that I have. And these are the clients that I used to have, which I'm currently in conversations with. Here's how much money we're going to make. Should we be able to reach this milestone? So I want to build from scratch again, and then see if I can reach this level. I've got five years, 10 years, 15 years in this space. I just want to do it right now. Because maybe it was your partners, it was da 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 right? So I, I feel you must be very selective about what you're talking about, right? What's important, though, is that don't go into your pitch by that story because you have too much information, right? Stick to what you want. Stick to what you want. Keep it simple. This is who I am. This is what I do. This is what I need. Da -da 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 -da. Let them probe you. Does that make sense? Let them ask the questions. But focus on what do you need now. How do you need it? What is it going to do? What are the projections? Da, da, da. L take the pain, leave it aside. Does that make sense? Okay, sir. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. I, I still don't have Wi-Fi. are able to exist and you have you have potential to to actually expand because that for, that market is informal yeah without and you don't have a yes how do you package that educate educate, educate me on that informal market right and you are correct because there are those issues 
that there's an existing market. Like, for example, the cowhead story. That market is there, but you can never, I can never prove to you that someone takes 200 dates from me. Okay? But what I can show you is I can show you my financials of how much revenue gets deposited into my account. Right? It's like in the taxi industry, how do you prove that you've got a market? I can't. But you know the market exists, right? So the need is there. Show me that the need is there. And, and then maybe, maybe invite me to say, come see. Let me show you, right? And, and it's, it's an unfortunate thing. And sometimes based on the knowledge of the people that you're going to preach to, whether they know that space and how big that market is, will, will appreciate it. But sometimes if they don't know, it works towards your disadvantage a bit. But the best way to show them is tell me the numbers, right? So the market I'm talking, so I'll give you an example. In Lesotho, where there was a lady that was pitching. I've, I've never been to the mountains of Lesotho. But this lady's business is, is, um, is uh, uh, um, sheep and goat, um, not skin, the, the wool. Ne? And she had a market that she has no offtake agreements on. And when I listen to her, I don't know how, much, how, how many sheep and goats are in the mountains in Lesotho. But she was able to bring me, written on a, on a piece of paper that she prepared before, that I have so many clients, this is how much wool they take from me, this is the type of wool they take from me, and then she showed me every, every single week how much wool she collects, which is the offtake, and then she showed me how much her cost of acquisition for that wool is, and then she showed me how much money she makes, and then she showed me the profit margins, right? But because I saw that format, it kind of made sense. So the only thing I needed was what? I need to win seed for myself, right? It's not always going to be the case from a funding point of view, but we would like to understand and hope that there's enough expertise for people to understand the different sectors. If not, they'll evaluate and then they'll come back and say, I understand what you're saying. But that's a good question. So I, I said this yesterday. Sometimes we, we use too much of the big language, right? Capacity, da, 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 right? Here's what I believe. If, if you've already started, show me what you've done in starting. Because people jump on a moving wagon. Né? If you're in ideation, show me that you've started something. And try and start it small. Right? So even the guys that are planting, whether you have 20 hectares of land, is irrelevant. Tell me that you're planting one hectare. And that's what you're trying to pilot. And that's what you're going to try and pivot. Okay? So prove the capacity from where you are. So my current capacity is this. I know that this business has the potential capacity to get here. Do you understand what I mean? So when people say, show me your capacity. Yeah, show me your capacity, but this is my current capacity. That's the reason why I'm talking to you, because I want to grow my capacity. Do you understand? Yes. Correct. What else? What else? Yes. Where? Which side? Okay, yes, sir. I don't know if this advice or there's another way of how she can be able to get the card Thank you. Did you get that, ma'am? Awesome. Anything else, guys? Are we come? Yeah. With the uh, offtake agreements mm. that normally uh, the funders would ask for mm. up front, mm. uh, there was a time when I went to do uh, the paper rips. And uh, the local supplier of paper could not supply mm. because they are controlling uh, mm. Now, I was going to pick up a uh, uh, very paper of the seeds in Thailand <coughs> and in Singapore. Mm. And uh, when I went
Good afternoon, colleagues. People who are pitching, eh, please make sure when you pitch, you are ready for pitching. This is whether you do it, you make it, or you break it. Even if you were there yesterday and you're not ready today, please go home. Go and prepare again. We have pitching today, we'll have another one tomorrow. So, oh, sorry. Everything is today, but make sure when you are ready to pitch, indeed you are ready. It's your lifetime opportunity. Make sure you are ready. Thank you very much. And perhaps if, if you are unsure about some of the things, maybe what you can do is go to some of the business coaches, see their people and so forth, and ask questions about your pitch. Maybe pitch it to them, let them listen to what it is that you think, just so to make sure that you are ready. If not, I hope everyone's listening to what we're talking about anyway, because it's also still relevant to you, and you're taking points and you're refining as we talk, okay? Awesome, thank you, sir. So, around the off-take agreement issue, it's a problem, but unfortunately, it's one of those things that you must be in a position to try and ascertain at some point. In most cases, what I've come to, to appreciate is that maybe, you know, when, when you're already manufacturing, it's easy for you to be able to go and give someone a sample, right? But where you were stuck is that you were not manufacturing as yet. So what, what did you need? What did you need for you to be able to manufacture? Count the 
the papers for you as they try yeah. to inspire a very uh, high speed uh, machine. And uh, it, 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 it cuts and it wraps it as well. Yeah. And it pushes. You know, you, you produce something like 2,000 rims per hour. Which is high, 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 high end kind of machine. So, without having to confuse everyone, yeah. let you and I have a discussion. So, I think there's an angle that you should have taken, which is not as direct as that one. There's another route that you could have taken, but let's have that discussion offline. No, the, this is the format. So this, yes, it, it was communicated incorrectly. But what we're communicating today is that the, they must be read. It's yes, a okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I think uh, there's, there's a bit of a, an issue. There's been some changes to the actual official communication that was sent. And I think I've communicated it when, when we started. That the guys that pitched yesterday are pitching today, which is what is happening now. You guys, unfortunately, because we don't have enough time, we have to train you first. And then after training you, in the afternoon after lunch, we want to listen to your pitches. Why? Because we want to choose 30 people from here and 30 people from the guys on top. And those 30, which is 60 just for this region, are then going to go and pitch on Thursday and Friday for financing. Thursday and th Wednesday and Thursday, I'm sorry. Wednesday and Thursday. Can we please adhere to that process? Okay? The reason why we want you to be here and to do what we're doing, and this is why I'm opening the floor to say, ask me questions, ask me questions, ask me questions. Because I want to make sure that you understand it. And then when we give you the time to work with prepare, you've got enough time to prepare, and then you can come back. Doesn't mean when you are pitching to us the second time, it means it's the end of the world. We want you to, pre to, 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 to prepare properly, and then we give you the chance to come and pitch to us. It's important that you ask me questions. This is what this time is made for. So can we please just understand each other on that one and be aligned? Okay? Are we aligned? Are we good? Okay, perfect. Yes, sir. What, what you are saying now. I'm saying, can you please tell us why you are saying what you are saying now? Uh, do you have a problem with the people who, who are supposed to be pitching today? No, so there was a lady who was saying what was on the flyer is contradictory to what we said today. That's why. So I just wanted to reiterate that. Thank you. Okay, can we get back to the program? Yes, sir. The off-take argument. Um, you are a startup, and you are talking about um, if you're a startup, you can start small, and we are. Um, we are looking at maybe I've got space. I want to do farming. Mm. I've got large space which I can use. Mm. And I approach ShopRite, for instance, mm. and they don't want to take small amounts. They're actually looking at large amounts. Yes, so don't go to ShopRite. And I, I go to maybe the market that I have now is something that I cannot show for the vendors around mm. and the people around the village, mm. which I cannot show for. Mm. How then do I present that? Show, show me your, your statement. Show me how much money you are making. Yes, I'm a startup. I've not yet started. Okay. So, yes, so, I want to start. so that's what I said earlier on. Convince me on that market. Yes. So tell me more about that market. So, so say to me, I come from, uh, give me an area, just a, maybe one of the townships or villages. Chisau. How many people live in Chisau? Population. 100,000. So in Chisau, there's a population of 100,000. And of that 100,000, the product that I want to offer to them, I want to just capture 20% of that market. Right? 
in that 20%, I know that I'm either the only or there's two people that do what I want to offer. Okay? And then, then, then you project from there. The one product is going to be X. 20% is just 20,000 people. If I could service just that 20,000 people at 20 rand of my product, this is how much money I'm potentially going to make. So you, it's an estimation, right? Of this is what the potential market is. Then it is for the people that are listening to you to say, okay, we know that we understand what you're saying. Let's try it out. But it's still an idea, right? So meaning that you have, you have to go in and try and prove the concept. And when you've proved the concept, then they will support you moving forward. Does that make sense? So let's not get too stuck about the offtake, right? You've got to be able to also show me market. Who's going to buy this product that you're talking about? All right. Any other questions? Final question. You choose. I, I can calculate either. All right, you choose. Okay, so yes, sir. Yes, I was asking if, if I can it, hear you. Does it work? No, it doesn't work. Okay, I was asking if it's possible to be funded by a workshop. Maybe I'm working from home and I'm not ready to rent on the leader side and I need to work on my own workshop at home. Is it possible? I was saying that uh, I work from home. I'm a carpenter by profession. So I needed to know if uh, you, you guys can find me with a workshop from home because I'm not yet ready to, to rent on the premises of the government, maybe leader. And I find most of the challenges while looking for a place to work on. So I needed to know if there's an institution that can find me with, find me with a workshop that I can work on at home. Because currently I can't afford to, to rent on the that for yeah. Colleagues, are there special economic zones here in the province? They are. Who do they belong to? Which department? Correct. Those are the people you need to go and talk to. Economic development in conjunction with the DTI. And special economic zones are, 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 are areas that are demarcated by the government for people like you, carpenters, etc., etc. I needed to know if it's possible that I can apply for a fund which can build me a workshop at home. <laughs> Colleagues. Ladies and gentlemen, can we Although the worry, I'll be dangerous in a cover to whenever the Latin now. Arnes at Tumba and our shop or your prayer at the Guru, now one or a minute or in a minute or two, though a danger coming there to me now. So, what's that to be our applier funding? 
Mwisho bache apply funding udoto diwari basi mbizi sorry petwa bohole zoniwa maspara wana kwa watenda ori bunga kono ba bunga kono shimisa sa workshop. Okay, thank you. Final question. For your service, but the kind of machines that you don't have can't, it's not efficient enough to do the service at a certain time. How do you now structure the turnover and uh, the financial when you pitch? So, You've, you've got to be able to indicate, for me, you've got to be able to indicate where you are now, right? Because it's, a, it's, it's the first start point. I've got this. Here's how, what I'm doing. Here's how many volumes are moving. Here's how much money is making me now. But if I had to get this machine, here's what it would be able to do. Here's the volumes it would be able to give to me. Here's how much I will potentially project. The difference between what I'm doing now and what I could potentially do is this. Does that make sense? 100%. Awesome. Could you for the last, last time, just as a roundup again, together, can you tell me those six things again? Together. Let's go. Number one is what? I want you now to add the meat on the pitch. Can we do that? Can we do that? Are you sure? It's 12.45, and I'm going to give you a substantial amount of time, around 30 minutes. In 30 minutes, I'm going to come around and check how you guys are doing, and we'll decide from there. But for now, I'm going to give you 30 minutes to work on the pitch. Put meat into it, and no one else can do it for you outside of you, okay? We've got colleagues in here. If you want to ask questions, please ask us questions as we are here, okay? We can't spend too much time with one person, but put meat on your pitch because when you're done, I would want to hear some of those pitches, how they're structured. Let's criticize them and then let's go back into perfecting it because we're going to then then go into to lunch, lunch and then you guys need to come, need to come, come back, back and, and pitch your businesses. All right. All right. Are we I'll together? together? Are we together? together. Are we together? together. Yes. Hey, man, you're not, not excited. excited. Yes. Let us stress. Okay, let's be together, all right? So please put some meat in your business, in, in, in your pitch. And the other thing that I don't want, okay? I really want to see people, after you've written it down, after you've kind of made sense of what it is, don't sit in your chair. Go and talk to a wall. Like face a wall, talk to your friends, say, maybe do you want to listen to how I've, I've structured mine? Tell me whether this makes sense to you or not. Let's have an engaged room, okay? Don't just sit because you've got people that you can bounce off these ideas with. Are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? How about to bamdim? Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> it sounds like I'm in varsity. <laughs>
My name is Liwa Maginya, and I'm the founder and CEO of Panda Studios. Panda Studios was established in 2015 as a photography company. We have now expanded and we do video production and graphic design as well. We mainly focus on video production where we shoot weddings, corporate events, birthday parties, documentaries, commercials, and many more. If you want to know more about Panda Studios, please visit our website www.pandastudios.com.
ka front seat u uko tambiwa au naone zato yaone e bara ba ba tu ba fi bani ndiri ba tu ba yani ba ba dzura ba chikoso koto rizi na no dana zi explanation uri hola ni what ya only that guy Lama Sola have been uh, appointed by CSAR to design, implement, commission of a new one megawatt rooftop plant. The projects will include the installation of the rooftop uh, PV modules of a one megawatt plant in five buildings around the campus. Today we are just doing the pre-planning with our mountain structures uh, contractors which we have subcontracted. Obviously that details a lot of planning in terms of the mountain structures, how the equipments will be located uh, along all these buildings.
ila vimuru ni chigidi Cha unda kole hosikuwa Nda Bafenda vanga Mwona nishona kane Richirenda mauzi ashu Karibu yelele kaswa ashu Sirito vatu My name is Ndivo Maginya and I'm from Panda Studios. Uh, Panda Studios is the company that is live streaming this uh, event that is happening today at Hoyando um, Chamber Council. Uh, so we do professional live streaming, uh, graphic design, photography and our main service is professional live streaming. This is what we're doing right now. So we do multi-camera live streaming of which we live stream directly to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, um, anything actually uh, simultaneously so because we can be able to go on all your accounts live uh, uh, with the same live feed. So if you want to, to communicate with us, you can uh, uh, go to our website www.pandastudios.com or you can uh, contact us on social media platforms such as Instagram, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Facebook and um, Obviously on WhatsApp you can uh, get me on 0714709065. Our headquarters are in Johannesburg but we work all over South Africa. Uh, we have had an opportunity to go abroad and do other projects outside South Africa as well. So yeah, um yes, the Kolibua. Tu 
Zwa batu ria Kafran City Uko chambiwa Au naone zwa doya one E sukoto rizi Na no dana zi explanation Uri Ola ni watu ya oji Takai
tulabaturia Kafran City Uu huko chambiwa Au naone zato ya one Ego 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 Batu wa bafi bani Nuri batu wa yani Ba Batu wa bachi kusu kuto rizi Na no dana zi explanation Uri Ola ni watu ya oji Takai Ni aso kuna kare Batu wa bafi bani Nuri batu wa yani Batu wa bachi kusukoto rizi Nano dana zi